أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونتوب إليه ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا فإنه من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Brothers, I will start our lecture with a very simple question and this question will carry all our talk that we will be talking about at this particular day. How many people have you guided to Islam? How many people uh, were you the reason why they entered Islam? To understand this more, and of course to reflect on the reward of uh, guiding a person to Islam, listen to what our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has to say. The messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, لِأَنْ يَهَدِيَ بِكَ اللَّهُ رَجُلًا وَاحِدًا خير لك من حمر النعم for Allah to guide through you one single person to Islam is far much better for you than having a red camel and this statement brothers the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told this to Ali ibn Abi Talib of course it was during uh, uh, the Battle of Khaybar when all uh, the Sahabis tried to forge ahead and of course break through the fort of the, 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 the Jews, but they were not able to, of course, uh, get away. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told them in the evening that uh, tomorrow I will give guidance or I will give the flag to a person whom loves Allah and loves the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in turn, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loves this particular person. All the sahabas wanted to get this, uh, 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 this maqam the person that loves Allah and his messenger, and Allah and his messenger loves him. They all wanted to get this. And Umar ibn al-Khattab says, there is no day that I wanted to lead more than this particular day. The morning after Fajr, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called Aina Ali, Wais Ali. And of course, after that, he gave them or he gave Ali ibn Abi Talib the flag and told him that when you get into the battle, ud'uhum ila al-Islam. Call them to Islam and fawallahi, uh, fawallahi li ayya hadiya bika Allahu rajulan wahida khairun laka min humurin na'am. For I swear by Allah, for Allah to guide through you one single person is more important for you uh, 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 in reward than getting a red camel. And of course, you know, the maqam of a red camel to the Arabs, it was the most expensive mode of transport that they had. Compare it to our time to the most expensive mode of transport that we have uh, at, at, at our time. That is the reward of uh, guiding one single person to Islam. Maybe this and many other reasons are why the Sahaba of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam were very keen and uh, very, you know, wanted to guide more people to Islam. And you could see Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu. Immediately he became a Muslim. He did not agree to remain with Islam by himself. 
he went to his friends and propagated Islam to them, and they all came uh, uh, as Muslims. He brought uh, to the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Uthman ibn Affan. And you know Uthman, the Nurain, one of the persons that the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, gave glad tidings that uh, Uthman will enter Jannah. He also brought forth Zubair ibn al-Awam, Hawari of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, every messenger has a Hawari or a disciple, and my disciple is Zubair ibn al-Awam. He also brought Abdul Rahman ibn Awf and Saad ibn Abi Waqas and Talha ibn Ubaidillah. All these people, all, all these Sahabi are uh, Asharatul Mubashirin among the Asharatul Mubashirin uh, uh, Viljanna, the ones that the messenger gave glad tidings that they're going to enter uh, 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 Jannah. Their deeds, uh, uh, they will come the day of judgment having the guidance that uh, Abu Bakr as Siddiq is the one who introduced them, propagated to them, gave them the way and uh, guided them to Islam. Brothers and sisters, maybe after hearing this, you are asking yourself, how can I achieve this? How can, how can I do this? How can I guide even a single person uh, to Islam? One of the ways is, uh, of course, Dawah, propagating the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, Al-Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا Who has the best of the words, uh, except whom calls, da'a إِلَى اللَّهِ calls towards Allah, and he himself, عَمِلَ صَالِحًا He does whatever or whichever uh, 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 is good. In another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about us and says, Kuntum khaira ummatin, ukhrijat linnas. You are the best of the ummas, ukhrijat linnas, ayili ajlinnas. You are here, your main purpose. Why are you getting the khairia? Ta'muruna bil ma'roof, watanhawna anil munkar. You are propagating what is good and you are forbidding whichever is Wrong meaning, you are doing da'wah. And the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us and encourages us to do da'wah. And uh, he tells us, propagate about me. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 propagate even if it's one ayah. Even if it's uh, 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 one ayah that you know. How many ayahs do you know about uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How many a uh, 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 hadith of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do you have? And have you ever thought about sharing? Have you ever thought about propagating it? Anni walaw aya. Have you ever thought about sharing even a verse that, uh, that you have? And these brothers uh, and sisters can be done in two ways when it comes to the doer. It can be either you do it yourself, you know, you do da'wah yourself, of course, by speaking, telling people about this and that, uh, uh, when it comes to religion, you are the da'i, you are doing it uh, uh, physically and personally. Secondly, you can dedicate a person to do it uh, uh, on other platforms that you cannot reach. For example, you can be on the background, you know, uh, supporting those who do da'wah financially or with ideas uh, or with the technology, any way that you feel you can support. Uh, 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 it's not only physically, but you can support in any way that uh, uh, you can. The goal is any reward got from it, you also uh, have a share in it. And yahdi abikallahu rajulan. Wahida khairun laka min humurin na'am. So the first way is doing da'wah. 
The second way is uh, how you relate, you know? How you relate with others. Your akhlaq speaks much more about you. People uh, became Muslims in East Africa, for example, mostly because of how they saw uh, people relate, the Muslims, how they relate with one another. In uh, Medina, some people became Muslims because of how they saw the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam relating. He was a Swadiq. He was Al Amin. He was all the good qualities uh, and virtues that you could mention. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, uh, was in it. How are you relating with people around you? Are you truthful? Uh, are you honest? Are you approachable? Are you kind to others? Are you compassionate? You know, the more you relate with them good, the more they like to interact with the religion that uh, you are in. Or you are in on another side. You know, you are not easily approachable. You are a corrupt person. You have a very, you know, a, 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 angry any time and without any reason, do you have good morals that can call people, can do dawa them by themselves and call people towards Islam? And brothers and sisters, there's a disclaimer here. If you can't call people to Islam by your good deeds, by your behavior, then let your behavior not be the ones that will derive people or drive people away from Islam. Be very keen that if you can't call them and do that with your behavior and morals, let not your morals be the ones that drive them away uh, from Islam. So secondly, you can use how you relate to call them towards Islam. Thirdly, is uh, by use of hikmah, by use of wisdom, wise words, you know, or taking a, a caution of how uh, uh, you package the Islam itself with a lot of uh, hikmah. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is our kudua, who is our good example, look at how he did da'wah to one of the companions who was called uh, uh, Imran ibn Hussein. Imran ibn Hussein was a mushrik. He would worship and uh, bow down to idols. He once went to him and asked him, Kam ta'abudu liyawma ilaha? Hussein, Imran ibn Hussein, uh, how many gods do you believe in? Hussein said, Saba, I believe in seven gods. Sittatun fil ard, wa wahidun fil sama. Six of them are here with me on earth, and one of them is on the sky. Then the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked him, فَأَيُّهُمْ تَعُدُّ uh, uh, Which one of them do you go to? لِرَغَبَتِكَ وَرَحْبَتِكَ When things go hard, when the situation is so dire, which one do you run to? Is it the six on earth or the one in in heaven, no, very calm, very patient with him because he knows there's a message he wants to pass, you know, not even hurriedly, not even getting annoyed when he talks about uh, he is the messenger who came with Tawheed and this is Imran saying he has seven gods that he's worshipping. He told him, which one do you go to? Which one do you run to when things get tough? Imran ibn Hussein said, the one in heaven. Then the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told Imran, inna ka law aslamta allamtuka kalimataini tanfa'anik. If you were to become a Muslim, I will teach you two words that will aid you and help you. Of course, 
Imran, out of the shock of knowing these two words, he became a Muslim. Then after mentioning the Shahada, looking at the patient that the messenger had with him, and knowing that uh, uh, the messenger never lies, he told him, teach me al-kalimataini, al-lataini wa atani. Teach me the two words that uh, you promised that if I become a Muslim, you are to teach me. The messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, taught uh, Imran ibn Hussein this dua. And listen to this dua. He said, Imran, be, have uh, uh, a consistency or have uh, a habit of saying these words. Allahumma alhimni rushdi. Oh Allah, guide me towards which is good for me. Alhimni rushdi. Wa'aidhni min sharri nafsi and protect me from the harm that will emanate from my own self. Allahumma alhimni rushdi. Wa'aidhni min sharri nafsi. This is the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He did not abuse him because of the seven gods that he's worshipping. He did not use harsh words to Imran. He did not, you know, mock him. But instead, he used hikmah. He was so calm with him. He was so patient with him. He taught him these words after he became a Muslim. That's why Allah tells us, Udu'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah Brothers and sisters, sometimes you might try to guide the people, but uh, they don't reciprocate well with the message that you are trying to give unto them. Don't lose hope. You are not the first one in this. The messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also had an instance uh, in the same Abu Talib was so close in relation to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But uh, after tikraran, miraran, and uh, trying too much to guide him, he wasn't guided. That is why Allah tells us, inna kala tahdi man ahbabta. Hidayah comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What we are to do is just balag. You know, conveying the messenger, the message. Fadakir, inna ma anta mudakir, lasta alayhim bi musaytir. You are not the one who is, you know, forcing them. La ikraha, a fidin. There is no forceful in din. You are just conveying the message, knowing the reward that comes with it. Li ayyahdiya bikallahu. رَجُلًا وَاحِدًا خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنْ حُمُرِ أَنَّعَمْ أَقُولُ مَا تَسْمَعُونَ سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ نَسْتَغْفِرُكَ وَنَتُوبُ إِلَيْكَ شُكْرًا وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ